You know what? I'm kind of glad that this game is a full-on stinker. And hear me out. Because I can put the game tonight on the back burner at least to start the video. And by now, you probably know where I'm headed first. If you haven't followed the TikTok page, guys, the link is down below for that. I, I posted a little clip earlier today when the news started pouring in uh, about Johnny Goudreau. And that's where we're going to start the clip. Um, you know, I wake up stupid early for work. I'm up, well, I can't say stupid early. Some people wake up earlier, I guess. But I was up at 5.30 this morning and, you know, checking Twitter, scrolling through. And I see Tim Peel's tweet like five or six hours ago about Johnny Goudreau being struck by a drunk driver. Now, there's been no report from the, the NHLPA. There's nothing from the Blue Jackets. No nothing. Just Tim Peel. And, and you know, Tim Peel on Twitter get a little controversial at times. So we're all just sitting here thinking, please, for the love of God, as much as this guy is going to get ripped apart if he's wrong, please let it be wrong. Then the reports start filing through the statement from the NHLPA, the statement from Gary Bettman, the statement from the Columbus Blue Jackets, that it was true. That Johnny Goudreau and his brother Matthew were riding bikes and were struck by a drunk driver and uh, lost their lives. You know, it hits a lot. I'm a Leaf fan, and I know 95%, if not 99% of other fan bases despise the Leafs with a passion, and so they despise me, and that's fine. But in moments like this, we all know to put that on the back burner because it ain't about hockey. And, you know, I keep trying to think of words to say. But there's really nothing you can say. Life can get snatched away like that. You just never know. And to that family, I, I can't even fathom what they're going through right now. His wife lost her husband, the father of her kids. They lost the brother. Father's sons you know just and there's supposed to be a wedding for the damn sister was it today or something like that i can't even imagine what's going on right now and um i'm just gonna wrap it up with this i just send all my whatever it's worth uh my condolences my heartfelt wishes to the goudreau family the blue jackets the flames whomever was affected by this personally knowing Johnny or anything like that I my thoughts and prayers are with you I can't even imagine what's going on it, it in and around that family the organization whatever it's a tragedy and it's above sports and now I gotta try and pivot to sports but you just can't right there's no clear clean pivot to a Blue Jays 2 nothing loss to the Minnesota Twins so I'm just going to say screw it and start talking about it. Because that game sucked tonight. Um, you lost 2 nothing, And any sliver of hope, if you check the description of my last video, I said the Jays need three, to win all three games in Minnesota to even possibly sniff a possible playoff spot. You win all three, you're only four and a half back with basically a month to go. It's possible, minimal, very minimal, minimally possible, but it's still doable. You lose game one, it is pretty much, it's over, right? Like, let's be honest. We didn't expect it to happen with the lost Jays are five games under at uh, 66 and 71. And you don't score any runs on four hits. And that is now two out of the last three games where you've been shut out. And you haven't scored more than three runs in three games. So you're at that point, and, and Pablo Lopez got the start. And he was electric. His stuff was off the charts. You could tell right from the get-go. It was ground ball city. He wasn't letting anything happen in the air. Seven and two thirds, six hits, no bit, no no runs. Didn't walk anybody. Only struck out three, but just a ton of soft contact. He was great. Um, the, the the lone positive that you got if you're a Jays fan from today, 
is that, well, you got to get a couple. Spencer Horwitz had two hits. Barger went one for three. Uh, Will Wagner had a hit. Leo Jimenez had a couple hits. Nathan Lucas, good to see him back. He went one for three. That's about it, though. You didn't know Vladi went over, so that's a stinker. But Kevin Gosman, you know, historically has been teed off on by the uh, Minnesota Twins. And this was one of his best starts against the Twins in a very long time. Five and two thirds, four hits, two runs, walked four, did strike out four. I, it, it was just, you, you, go, you go off of his other starts against Minnesota, where it's usually a complete and utter disaster. He was much better today. I thought the stuff was pretty good. It was locating good. The fastball velo was there. Five and two thirds, a two run ball. It should be enough to win you a ball game, but, you know, we're, just, like, we're, we're kidding ourselves sometimes. The chase offense really isn't all that great. Like, it's just, it's really not. And it showed today. Seven hits total for the Jays. Four uh, four strikeouts, no walks. And I believe every hit today was... Uh, was was uh, They were all singles today. No extra base hits for the Blue Jays at all. And shout out to my guy Rob for firing the Blue Jays center chat. I just want to pull it up here. Some wild stats from uh, just Jays versus Minnesota. Um, one run in their last three games at Target Field. One extra base hit in the last three games. And you know what one of those was? A double by Vladdy where he didn't even score in the playoffs. So that, I believe, is the stats that are pretty crazy. Now, bullpen-wise, hey, Zach Pop gave you clean inning work. Good for him. Brennan Little continues to uh, impress as your second lefty. An inning and a third, one walk, couple strikeouts. And here you have 379 for Brennan Little. Like, 379 and, or what is it, 35 and two-thirds innings. Decent sample size for a reliever. So you like what you're seeing from him moving forward into next year but that's that's really all I got for you I wanted to mainly talk about the Johnny Goudreau situation because it really hit hard this morning um just seeing all the news trickle down and we've now seen a picture of the guy and we saw the 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 trial thingy he was dealing with and oh with a demeanor and just mm, yeah it's leaving a sour taste in everybody's mouth right now it definitely is but I wanted to make that at the forefront of this video because a 2-0 loss to the Twins, yeah, who, who the hell really wants to hear me talk about that very much, right? All right, but tomorrow, though, they do play again because great. 7-10 first pitch in Minnesota. Jose Barrios gets the ball for the Blue Jays going up against Zebby Matthews. What a freaking name. Jose Barrios going, uh, facing off against the Twins. He's in a really good stretch right now going up against his former team. And the last time that Jose Barrios touched the field at Target Field was when he was getting pulled in the playoff game. Right? No. Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. Who the hell knows? I think it was last year. I don't know. These years are all blending together. Why? Because we haven't won a freaking playoff game. And we're still not going to. But anyways, I think it was last season. Um, yeah, it was last year. What am I talking about? So that's the last time he's touched the field in Minnesota. We'll see what happens tomorrow, right? So you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video to a certain point, obviously with a lot of negative talk early on, hit that like button to appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you not done so already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video, your thoughts on the game if you want to talk about it, your thoughts on the Johnny Goudreau, sorry, Johnny Goudreau and Matthew Goudreau situation. Let me know all your thoughts and feelings down below. I want to hear it all because we're all going through it as fans as well, right? Maybe not to a, obviously to a lesser extent, but uh, if you're a diehard sports fan, you feel it. And that's the way I'm feeling it right now is watching a sp watching sports all my life. So it, uh, it definitely hits, all right? So comment down below. Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and of course, I mentioned earlier, TikTok is down below. So follow up there if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you guys, Jay's edition, tomorrow night. <sighs> Jay's, Twins, game two of the three games set at Target Field. Jose Barrios, Zebby Matthews is the pitching matchup at 7-10. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and, of course, not this game tonight. Now, what I'm going to send off is this. Rest in peace, please. Johnny and Matthew Goudreau.